Hello, welcome back to Learn Economy. Today we are very, very happy to explain something called the economics of happiness. So let's have a look onto the same topic here. Coming to the idea of economics of happiness, uh, it is identified to be an interdisciplinary field. So when we consider something as an interdisciplinary field, we will be combining the principles from multiple discipline. So, in such a case, coming to the concept of economics of happiness, we will be combining ideas from economics, psychology, sociology, environmental studies, and so on. So, why are we doing this? We do this in order to understand as well as measure the well-being and happiness within societies. So, we will be trying to look on to the welfare aspects of people within different societies. So, for the very same reason, what happens here is that with this economics of happiness, we are diverging from the traditional theories. Why? The traditional theories mostly focuses on the material wealth, economic growth as the indicators of progress. But we are actually deviating to an extent when we consider economics of happiness and we are going much, much more beyond the traditional way of looking on to development. So, what are the aspects to consider when we go for measurement and indicators here? As far as economics of happiness is concerned, we would be using wide variety of indicators because our intention is to look on to well-being or welfare, right? So, we will be including social connections, mental health, life satisfaction, environmental quality, work balance, and also engagement with the society. So whenever we consider these kinds of aspects in life, what happens here is that all these could be providing a very, very broader, wider perspective related to individual and society's welfare. So what happens here? Again, as I was telling you earlier, we are broadening our idea or we are widening our understanding of the economy by focusing on something called welfare or well-being. Now, if that is the context, what are the policy implications here? Definitely, it will be having significant, significant, important implications for both individual as well as society. So we will be considering various con aspects to design policies that would be prioritizing the quality of life, sustainability, as well as equitable distribution of resources. So our intention is to promote social support networks, protecting environment, enhancing overall happiness and well-being among the given population. So altogether, what we are focusing is, again, we will look on to both the individual as well as society. So both are important parts here. Definitely, individuals make up society, right? A collection of individuals is what that make up society. So we know this idea. And we consider this idea whenever we go for economics of happiness. So we need to consider individual happiness as well as the happiness of the society. But it doesn't mean that economics, is hap of, economics of happiness is actually free from critics and challenges. We do have got several problems. Why? Because definitely this is a fresh perspective that we are having. And it's a deviation from traditional way of looking on to the economic development, isn't it? 
So coming to the critics and challengers, uh, we need to first of all understand that uh, we do have a very, very important aspect to consider that is called subjective well-being. And whenever we look on the subjective well-being, as you could understand, it consists of the ideas of economic, sociology, psychology, uh, mental health and so on, right? So it's very, very subjective. That means uh, it differs from person to person differs for everyone it would be have it would be there would be a kind of novel subjective well-being a unique subjective well-being in that uh, you, you cannot say that uh, the policy that the government is taking or a particular policy that the government is taking will be having same impact on every person in the society the government might be intended to create equal welfare for everyone but what happens in reality is that if government goes for a particular policy this policy would be creating different well-being or different intensity of well-being for different persons in the society. So the subjective well-being is actually very much subjective. And for the very same reason, you cannot quantify. Quantification part is something impossible. You might be trying for quantification, but you won't be able to capture everything accurately so conflicts between economic growth objectives as well as happiness oriented policies would be coming here so our priority is to address these kinds of problems to redefine and refine the measurement techniques that we use in economics of happiness so we try to incorporate diverse disciplines and broad and broader well-being indicators in order to provide something called a rich framework for evaluating progress of the economy or evaluating development of the economy. So what happens here is that when we go for economics of happiness as an uh, as a interdisciplinary field, it would be encouraging policymakers, researchers, individuals, etc. to prioritize happiness, to prioritize well-being, to prioritize welfare, to prioritize people's subjective well-being again as some important components of development or thriving society or progress. So this is a basic aspect to consider for when we go for the idea called economics of happiness. So that's it for today. Again, let me remind you about your Learn Economy app. You will be getting previous year question papers and answers, free study materials, live as well as recorded classes, and free MCQ based weekly tests here. What you have to do is if you're preparing for any of the competitive examinations in economics, you can just download the Learn Economy app and use it for your upliftment. Again, our Telegram community is open for you. You can join it. I'll be providing the links of both our Learn Economy app as well as Telegram community in the description box so that you can use it from there. So that's it for today. I request you to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos. And thank you for watching.